want to tell the stories of each person. These are not numbers. She dedicated her life to telling the stories of the oppressed. Her voice in the end so powerful it had to be silenced. They are hitting civilian buildings absolutely mercilessly and without caring. And the scale of it is just shocking. Today, almost seven years after Marie Colvin was killed in an artillery attack in Syria, an American court has ruled that she was murdered by the Assad regime, a victim of the war crime she sought to expose. I didn't have any doubt that, that the evidence would be recognized as proving that Marie had been murdered, um, but the strong condemnation um, by the judge of the Syrian regime um, was really more than I'd hoped for. This was one of Marie Colvin's last interviews. Um, there was a, a tiny baby, well, one year old, um, naked, uh, hit in the left chest. The doctors uh, just said, we, we can't do anything. And we, we had to watch the baby, little tummy, you know, desperate for breath, die. Aware how damaging such testimony was, the Syrian regime tracked her phone and bombed the building she was working from. The defector told how those who ordered her killing had celebrated it. Photographer Paul Conroy was working with Marie Colvin on that final job in the Syrian city of Babarama. He was badly injured in the attack. We all miss Marie. And it's a chance that, you know, not just focus on Marie's death, but the people we went to report on. That's the important part of this story. We can focus the prison back on this regime and their crimes. Next month, the film of Colvin's life will be released. The Sunday Times journalist will be played by Rosamund Pike, who spent months studying her life and work. Our mission is to speak the truth to power. You're prepared to sink your country in the civil war. It became apparent that what Marie was saying was powerful enough that the leaders of a powerful regime felt the need to kill her for it. And I think, you know, that ultimately that is the message that needs to be out there, that, that what journalists are doing when they're on the level of Marie is something that is so important that anybody in power who they are speaking against feels the need to quash it. Hundreds of thousands have died in Syria since Marie Colvin was killed. Her legacy is that in death as in life, she is holding the regime to account. Emma Murphy, News at 10.